Today's grill is brought to you by Blackstone, Rec Tech, and the Pit Barrel Cooker. Here we have the pork butt. I'm gonna put on the smoker here. I always put a fat cap down. What I always do is I, I put this these seasonings, salt and pepper, like I said before, salt and pepper uh, only while it's smoking. That way the sugar doesn't give it a bitter taste and it burns inside there. That's my opinion. I just do salt and pepper right at first. Then when I go to um, wrap it later on, I'll put in you know, whatever kind of uh, seasoning on the wrap with the thing of butter in the tray. And I go in like that. So first off, let's recap. We go in with the uh, salt and pepper. I don't do any trims at all. I don't trim them because the fat kind of takes it. Do not trim it at all. We do fat, <coughs> fat cap down. Excuse me, fat cap down. Let's try that again. Um, it just keeps from the, the uh, uh, it keeps protection up from the meat uh, and all that fat, whatever it is. You know, so, since I do not, uh, I don't, don't trim it or anything. All that fat. It'll melt away. Um, it doesn't, it's, my opinion, it doesn't do anything, any, any benefit for the meat at all to, to uh, other than protecting the meat, period, in, in this smoking time. Because they'll, they'll be on there about 13, 14 hours, and it protects the meat from the residual, from the heat. Um, and that's why I like it. That's why I do it personally. That's, that's just me. You do you on everything you do. So, step one. Uh, get the fat, get the pork butt up, salt, pepper, put it, in the, put it, get the smoker ready, put it on the smoker, and uh, if you want to add some more smoke like I'm doing here, do that, um, and let that go, let it go, don't even mess with it, let it go the whole time, and uh, you'll see that it's, uh, it makes a big difference in your, in your pork butts. Uh, once it comes up to, you get a real pretty color, um, I let it come up to like 200, 205. I'll pull it then, and then I'll put it in a aluminum tray and put butter. I'll put a stick of butter on it, and then um, I'll put my seasonings then at that time. All the seasons like my killer hogs, any kind of sugar-based rub, I put it on there then at that time because this lengthy cook, the sugars will caramelize and they have a bitter, they have a very, very bitter taste in your barbecue. That's that's the way I do it. That's the way I do my pork butts and ribs and whatever. I always put my sugar bases, sugar base rubs, and sauces last at the very end of the cook. That way, it's not making my meat and my bark bitter. So this is going to have a beautiful bark on it. It's going to incorporate that smoke and that pepper and salt. It's going to really pull it in. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be phenomenal. Y'all stick around for more details uh, and watch, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll continue on with this video. Thank you.
trees and he smokes his meat with apple trees. Banjo, banjo barbecue makes the best barbecue. Next day after. I take the excess fat and put it over here in the crock pot. So I can catch all the drippings.
two hours later. some onions and peppers. We'll get those uh, nice and translucent. And then we'll put on, we'll go to step two. everything better y'all all right they're about as done as what I want now I'm going to add in some uh, leftover pork butt from yesterday that I just smoked it gives that extra je ne sais quoi in the pork beans Takes your pork beans at another level, folks. All right, we're gonna let that heat up and bring you right back. All right, now we're gonna take these go right inside our beans, just like that. Just like that. them into the beans and I'll show you what we're going to do next. Oh, it smells so good. Say that there, folks. All right. Now let me show you what I'm going to do next. underneath these pork butts here that's dripping yummy goodness gold right gonna be right in the middle of that so we're super ouch that's hot we're super excited about that so update on the pork butts they're almost ready to come off they're at 183 internal temperature the, the, the brisket 
it's getting a little bit better folks it's getting a little bit better we're gonna go a little bit longer y'all stick around and uh, it's gonna be great well, while we're out here I'm gonna go ahead hours later <laughs> What are you doing now, baby? I'm looking at that bug That's a June bug, he won't hurt you I don't know if I've ever eaten this. Y'all don't be pulling my legs, man. Baby, I'm getting it. Hold on, sweetheart. Here. Here. Ella. Be careful, the drip. They need to try his food. And put them in Mm. Mm. I'm going to try to, I'm going to brush that in the deep water. Mm -mm. Mm. Well, they will now. He's got his license. Uncle Matt? Yeah, Uncle Matt. <laughs> mm -hmm. You hear that? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Jiggly like jello, boys and girls. I like that knife. Yeah, folks, I finally ended up getting me a sharper knife. I'm sure you don't want to sweat inside your Oh, my grandma's going to my grandma's this video. I'm going to like the doctor's thing. I'm going to my finger off. I know. Now, look here. This right here, boys and girls. Watch this. Dude, you getting that one, man? These are burn ends. I'll get you one, Mom, right here. Kimmy needs to try this. Mm. Yeah. I'll get it in a minute, babe. Okay. Mm. Right, you can right. Go ahead, there. Nesta. Mm. <laughs> it's like, my goodness. Is it honey? It's like candy. Mm -hmm. If it was meat. It tastes like like more, like more. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's only two ways to eat that right there. By yourself or with somebody. <laughs> Try to Kimmy. Mm. Oh my lord. That's awesome. It melts in your mouth. Yeah, it does. It sounds yeah, like it's like key. daggum candy. Mm. Just hey, we just we are we're just having a good I'm time. Just hey, we just we we're just having a good time. I'm gonna bet you, honey, but we're gonna start it. <laughs> 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 